Yippee Kai Yay! November 8th. Man, it's a beautiful fall day. It started out cold this morning um, in the low 40s, but it's up in the mid 60s now, I believe. We are finishing up the last of the corn stalks, getting uh, this those bush hogged uh, to today. Can you see? Uh, I can't see because of the sun. But yeah, that field. Uh, I have just finished blowing the combine off, trying to get as much stuff, dust, dirt out of it as I can. Now I'm going to go ahead and pressure wash it because it is a, it is a nice day for that. Although I think three days, four days this week, it's supposed to be decent, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this done now while I'm in the mood. That doesn't happen too often. I'm getting in the mood, that is, to wash a combine. Uh, but today, let me do it. And I guess while I'm at it, and I have the pressure washer out, I'll go ahead and wash this dirty truck too. Man, that still pisses me off that I did that on the last day of harvest. Oh well. That's just the way life goes sometimes. Well, Mr. Green has got a bath. That was the easy one. Now it is on to that one. Uh, but I wanted to show you something here. A month ago, when the neighbor uh, started shelling uh, corn over in that field there, they've got a 9400 they just got uh, about two years ago, I think. They had been running Massey Ferguson's uh, up until that point. Um, anyhow, the first day they hadn't gone an hour or two and the machine stopped and then I noticed it the following day um, not doing anything. It was sitting down at their farm and I saw the local welder come in. So I had wondered if they had had the same issue that I had last fall when something, the belt jumped off and the, plugged up the whole walker system back here just because of where I saw them working on the machine. While I talked to my cousin two weeks ago and similar issue, but different. Uh, so he was showing me the issue on his machine. We didn't catch it initially, but once he left, I started uh, looking a little closer and I've got the same issue about to happen with my machine. So if you walk up here under the straw walkers, uh, this crack here, I've got this crack about six inches long that is developed. And I guess it's similar to what happened on his machine in that this bracket over here, right up here, I guess that crack morphed into a whole lot more. And I think they had some issues with this assembly here, jumping out of whack. Once that crack got larger, jumped out of whack and then threw the belt off. And then I think straw walker stopped. So I'm going to have to go down and talk to him a little more and see if this is the same area that he had his crack and uh, then figure out how they went about fixing it so I can go about uh, fixing this one as well. Okay, I, I see now. So where it is cracked, uh, up under here, this bracket comes over to this tightener, this this bar that then holds this whole assembly on. So there's quite a bit of pressure on this to drive the straw chopper on this machine. So you've got the main belt coming down and then uh, this is this is spring loaded with this this belt here going down to the straw chopper. That bracket has got Quite a bit of pressure on it and that that tin there it's not a whole lot uh, holding it so as i said i'll have to uh, go down and look at his machine and see how they fixed it what what their plan of attack was on that okay i'm going to back this out of the way i'll pull the pickup uh, up here and try to clean that up a little bit
me, you got a little wet. Okay, that's done. I was able to catch the uh, cousin uh, to stop him and have him look at my machine to see if it's the same thing that happened to their machine. It is, so I'm gonna put everything away and then head down to this place and look at how they got it back together. Uh, he said it wasn't a pretty job, but it got it done. It's just the metal is too thin there to, um, to, to really hold anything, so uh, we'll see. All right, that's all I got going on. So I'm going to say... See ya!